In this question, we have to determine the voltage across V2 when V1 is equal to 1 volt and there is a 3 ohms resistor across V2. Okay. Now the best way to solve this is by making use of the H parameters. For this, we have to first determine H parameters. The H parameters are defined as V1. Is equal to H11, H12, H21, H22, I1. Okay, so first we will determine these values H11 and H21. So to determine these values, we have to make V2 equal to 0. At least we will be shorting the output. Okay, then the network will be like this. PIS is 1 1. Then IEX is equal to I1. This is 2 ohms. And then we have Over yes. Then this will be I. Okay. Now H11 is equal to from here we can say V1 by I. So, so it will be equal to what? Okay, now what is V1? So this is this is V1, right? So V1 will be equal to, since I x equal to I1, okay, so it will be I1 plus 3 I x which is again I1 and then we have a shock here which means 0 volt. So I1 plus 3 I1 divided by I1 is again I1, right? So it will be 4. Okay, now H21 is equal to I2 by I1. Okay, here we have a current of I1, right? And then this current is 2Ix, which means it is 2I1. This current I1 will not pass through this 2 ohms resistor because there is a short over here, so it will be passing here. Okay, this is I1, and now this is 2I1. So I2 will be equal to 2I1 minus I1 which of current law divided by I1 so we will get that as 1 now to determine H12 and H22 similarly we have to make I1 is equal to 0 ok now H12 is equal to V1 by V2 so V1 by since there is no current I1 here this will be 0 which means a short ok and V1 will be equal to V2 ok because there is no current here hence no voltage drop across this this is shorted and here we have no voltage so V1 will be equal to V2 ok so V1 by V2 is equal to H22 is equal to I2 by V2. Now, I2 by V2. Okay, so this is our I2, right? So this will be passing through this. So our I2 will be V2 by 2, which means here I2 by V2 will be equal to inverse which is equal to 0 0.5. Now that we have determined all the H parameters, we can write down the equations as V equal to 4 I1 plus V2 I2 is equal to I1 plus 0 0.5 V2. Okay, so once we determine this set of equations, we can substitute the values of any uh, I1 and I2 and corresponding values of V1 and I2 can be determined 
Okay, now we have a three ohms resistor that is connected across here. Okay, and also V one is equal to one volt, right? So what we will do is from this equation we will be getting rid of I one. Okay, so V one minus four I two equal to minus V two. Okay, we have eliminated I one here. Now, what is I two? Okay, this. What is I two? I two will be equal to minus V two by three because we have connected a three ohms resistor here. So I two will be equal to minus V two by three. Okay, so V one plus four V two by three. Is equal to minus V. Like already mentioned, V1 is equal to one. So substituting V1 equal to one, we get V2 equal to minus V by seven. Is equal to minus zero point four two eight six. This is the solution.